Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, you see I worked on the part of the governor and also the whistle. I'm still waiting on the material to turn up now for the governor and also I've ordered some balls to machine up for the counterweights. So we'll carry on with the whistle. So I've got this small end mill which I've got to drill at an angle through that hole there to line up with this hole here. I'd like to show you this plaque I was presented by the people I work with. A little bit of fun for passing over a thousand subscribers. I'm chuffed as nuts with that. So thank you to those people. I'll hang that up in the workshop later on. Right, so I'm just about to put that through and drill that steam hole to that hole there. So that's doing the job. Well, I think that's it. Right, that's it. Take that out and we'll just have a look. Right, just to show you I got that through, look, I found some small wire. I pulled that out through, look. See? there right so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna mount that in the lathe in the collet I'll do that first and I'll get back to you right so I've got that mounted in the lathe and I'm gonna gently turn the diameter of this clean up the end put a radius on it because I'm gonna use that part to make that so I've got to turn that down to 0.541. Nice little radius on the outside. Uh, drill and tap that for a 2BA. So let's get the end machined and then turn down the diameter. Well, that didn't work. Uh, what I'll have to do is I might um, I might order a new cast and actually I could bore that out and braze in a bit of rod and then redo it perhaps I'll order a new cast and we'll see so at the minute that's no good
never mind. Perhaps what I'll do is I'll mount that in the lake and part that off. And start machining this piece. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill that. I've got some quarter inch bronze rod. I'll silver solder that in. And then re-drill the holes. So when I've done that, I'll get back to you. Right, so I've bored that out and I've found some bronze. I've cut a piece off long enough to go right in there. I'll silver solder that in now and then we'll have to re-drill the holes. So let's get that silver soldered in. Right, let that cool down. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Right, so that looks like that silver soldered in there nicely. I'll give that a clean up. It's filled the holes in there, look, so I'll be able then to turn that down to length there and then re drill them holes. You've seen me do that once already, so I don't think. I'll video that again. I'll get back to you when I've done that. So there we are, back to the same point before I broke that off. I think what happened, where I drilled that hole through there, and then drilled that hole through there, weakened that, so I only touched it with the cutter, and it broke. So I've decided I'll drill that in a minute, or when I, because I want to mount that upright, I've got to adjust the height of my part and off tool look. But I want to make that up right and I'll get that centre in the milling machine. And I'll do the boring in there. And then I'll turn that over and have that up right. 
and I'll drill that hole in there down to the depth and then I'll tap it, I'll dye it, put a thread on it and then I'll mount that and drill down that way. Right, so the next job then is do the machining in the top end. Right, it's just a short video for the minute. I wanted to say not everything needs to be done in the lathe. I mean, I've silver soldered a new bit of bronze rod in there and I've re-drilled these holes, re-drilled and tapped. But where that was drilled, that's the bit that broke off, look. So obviously that's weakened that part and where that was in the collet. It's just not enough meat there and I just touched the part of the casting that was out here and it just snapped off like that. So not everything's got to be done in the lathe. So what I'm going to do now on the drawing I'm going to Mount this piece in a collet upright like so and do all the machining in the top which is that and then when I've done that I can turn that over and have that flat and I can drill that hole or die that so the thread's on there, drill the hole and then drill that hole which meets up at the angle in there. Meets up at an angle in there. Through there. Yeah, blooming nuisance, but there you go. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler's Showman's Traction Engine.